Alrighty, here we are. Week, what, three? Yeah, week three. Um, now, there is a little bit of an anenum. I can't speak. Um, there is a little bit of a lightning delay in Tennessee Martin Murray State, so I will talk about that game um, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, hopefully, the rest of it gets played. But we're going to talk about the rest of these games here. And what a bizarre weekend it was for the FCS. A bizarre, very bizarre weekend. Big Sky really started up play this week. Uh, the SWAC started up play this week. And the Southland started up some more games this week as well. Let's go to the big one. The big one right here. North Dakota State gets destroyed. By Southern Illinois. I'm not talking about, you know, they get upset. They got destroyed by Southern Illinois. Crazy stuff right there. Crazy stuff. And that 39 game winning streak, you know, and I was wondering, you know, what in the world were the Bison going to do, you know, now that they don't have Trey Lance? You know, I, I wondered, and it just did not go too well. We're talking the offense couldn't get anything going. We're talking the defense got rolled over, got beat up by the Salukis. I mean, it was just crazy. Crazy stuff. And there were plenty of other upsets as well. Plenty of others as well, you know. Uh, no problem for James Madison, though. They, they win their second non-conference game. I assume their season... It's over, I believe. I believe James Madison's season is over after this second non-conference game. It's Robert Morris. Oh, oh yeah, the three MEAC teams that were supposed to play. Yeah, Howard to Delaware State. Yeah, that was that was a bizarre game where it was three to two at one point. What a bizarre game it was there. South Dakota State loses to North Dakota. North Dakota is two and zero. Oh. In the Missouri Valley, in their first year in the Missouri Valley, they're two and zero. Crazy, again, crazy stuff right there. Ah uh, man, that North Dakota team is pretty fun to watch. Pretty fun to watch. Um, I couldn't really, couldn't really find any games to watch yesterday. Unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know what in the world was going on. You know, there wasn't any streams up. You know, so I was just like, what, 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 what do I do? What do I do? So I ended up only watching the Tennessee Tech Jacksonville State game today. Jacksonville State, it was a ranked matchup, remember. It was a ranked versus ranked matchup. Jacksonville State got the W. You know, there was some missed field goals, a little bit of turnovers, you know. You know, the usual stuff in a college football game, you know, the usual stuff. And one team struggling, the other, not so much. The usual stuff. <sighs> Uh, VMI, yeah, yeah, let's talk about VMI real quick. Pretty interesting team, I'll tell you that much. Um, they've only won, you know, they usually win about three to four games a year. And they got a big surprise victory against Furman. Very, very surprising result there. Um, also, Gardner Webb beat Elon. I mean, beat him up easily. Crazy stuff right there. Um, the game that I wanted to watch yesterday, Mercer and the Citadel, that ended up, you know, being a 14-point victory for Mercer. And the two FCS independents, the two teams that are independent right now, but will be in the WAC in 2021, Dixie State, Tarleton State. Dixie State got the W. Remember, Dix Tarleton State was favored by like 28 and a half points I saw somewhere, and that not happened at all. Low scoring. Or rather, pretty low scoring. Not too, not too bad, you know. And Dickel State continues to dominate. They beat up Lamar fifty-five to zero. Fifty-five. They put up eighty-seven the week before. Now they put up fifty-five. Crazy stuff right there. Um. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it as far as the scores go. Uh, oh yeah, there's Sam Houston State, Southeast Louisiana again, two ranked teams in the Southland. Pretty interesting, high scoring game right there, you know. But 
Yeah, it was, a, it was also the week of the upset in the FCS this week as we conclude week three here. Um, I'm curious as to how things will go now. I believe we are in, I believe next week the Pioneer League starts, the Northeast Conference starts, and somebody else I don't forgot. I'm actually looking at these right now. The rest of the CAA, I believe, is supposed to start in March as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, I was right. My mistake. I bet James Madison. I'm a little tired, y'all, but my mistake. I, I thought James Madison wasn't going to have any more games. Then I realized, yeah, they do, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. That'll pretty much do it here. And, you know, just keep it going. The FCS is smoothing things along. I, I was, again, I was a bit adamant on, on what I thought, you know, was a dumb idea. But they're smoothing things out. They're keeping it going. They're going along with the season. Even though we have to be subjected to ESPN+. Plus. But hey, we're going on with the season, baby. So yeah, that'll do it. See you guys for the next week preview. <sighs> yeah, for the FCS preview, I believe it will be a Tuesday or Wednesday video. I'm not sure when. But y'all stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. You know, do all that good stuff. Click the notification bell. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.